So last year, you guys had the first playoff win in program history, right? Yes. Talk about how that can build confidence for you guys and how you guys are looking to rebound off that next game where you guys lost in the last play of the game and a heartbreaker in pre-districts. Yeah, it's big for our younger kids to be a part of that environment, be a part of that structure. Uh, it was a heartbreaker to lose to the Sioux on the final play of that game, but uh, we had a lot of young kids that didn't see a lot of time last year that were playing behind some pretty good players uh, uh, that are going to be called on to do a, a lot this year. So. Uh, we look for them to take that next step, learn from uh, their experiences last year, and keep moving us forward. So last year in the Lakes 8, before you guys moved to the bigger uh, West Michigan yep. Conference, talk about what you're looking forward to this year and then what you guys are looking forward to next year, getting to compete against some of those state powerhouses. Well, this year, obviously, the last year of the Lakes 8, we'd love to compete for a conference championship. We know Muskegon Catholic's going to be a very good football team. Manistee's going to return kids. Orchard U's getting older. They were incredibly young last year. And then we'll see uh, Muskegon Heights back in this year. They're going to play football this year. Um, so it's, it's, it's special. We've been with those teams for a long time. So we want to compete for the last possible Lake State Conference Championship. As far as moving into the West Michigan, it's the perfect fit for Ludington. Uh, we're excited about the opportunities you write, powerhouse programs at the top of that conference. And uh, we would love to be up in the mix with those guys. Um, they play football at a high level. We're going to have to raise our level of play. Uh, in order to compete with them. But uh, as far as travel, geographical, um, in all sports, it's a perfect fit for us.